Today at Shape It Up, we're talking about preventing overeating at a restaurant. Stay tuned. Thanks for being here at Shape It Up, where each week I provide fitness videos, nutrition, and workouts. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you would like to know when the next Shape It Up video is out. Today we're talking about preventing overeating at a restaurant. These are just a few of the tips that I use and I also pass along to my clients. Tip number one, order what you want. Did you think a personal trainer would say that to you? Yeah, order whatever you want. When you order your food, what I would like you to do is ask the waiter or waitress for a to-go box when your food comes. Depending on what you order, if you're at a pasta style place, you know those pasta portions are about 10 servings. <laughs> so figure out what exactly you need to eat. It's probably about the size of your fist. Whatever doesn't fit in your fist area, you need to put in that to-go container and take it home. You probably have four other meals that you can eat throughout the week, so you're kind of getting a deal when you order something like that and you can spread it out through the week. If you're ordering in a non-Italian restaurant, eat until you're comfortably full and then put the rest in the to-go box. It's already there. The problem is if you wait until you're done eating and the waitress comes around, you might be nibbling a little bit more than you probably need to. So get that to-go box as soon as your food comes out, slide it in there and take it home. Tip number two, you can order an appetizer as an entree. Appetizers typically are pretty small in comparison to entrees. Some of them may be higher in fats and calories, so just be careful as to what you're choosing for your appetizer. You could do a side salad and an appetizer and that could be your meal. You would probably be amazed at how full you will become just eating that. So on to dessert, share with a buddy. <laughs> Sharing is caring, right? And if you're caring about this video, please share it with a friend. Dessert can be challenging, um, depending on what type of dessert and what mood you're in and what emotions you're going through at that time. So if you're getting dessert, share it with a buddy or go back to tip number one, get a container, take it home. So I have some three mini tips for desserts. So one is the to-go box. The second one is to make sure you grab your waitress and tell her to take away, like if you're, so say you've eaten the dessert and there's half left and you really don't wanna eat the rest and you don't wanna take it home, make sure you grab that server or any of the wait staff and ask them to take it away quickly. Less temptation sitting in front of you. One of my favorite tips that I heard in the past and I believe it was from Jillian Michaels is pour salt all over the dessert. I love this tip because are you, once you dump that salt all over, you are not gonna wanna eat it. And if you do, if you do wanna eat that dessert after there's salt all over it, we need to talk. So you can absolutely dump sugar on it, put some oregano, whatever is on that table. You know, I mean, obviously don't be like a two year old and make a complete mess for the wait staff, but just make sure that dessert gets enough stuff where you don't wanna eat it and you're not, you know, picking at it. It's very common, like I know me personally, if I go out to eat with a friend and we're chit-chatting along and dessert's coming and we're enjoying the conversation and we're eating and you're not really paying attention to when your body is saying it's full, especially with dessert, you might eat the entire thing. And if you find yourself at the Cheesecake Factory, that's a good thousand calories for one slice of cheesecake. So take those three tips for dessert definitely and apply them and see how you do. After watching this video, if you have tried any of these tips, Please leave it in the comment section below, or if you have a tip of your own, I would love to hear it as well. Don't worry, there is more where this came from, so remember to subscribe to Shape It Up because the next video is going to be out very shortly. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I'll see you in the next video.